Hello and welcome back. It's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth, and today we're going to be playing Outside at Night. And uh, I'm sure you can tell already that we're probably going to be talking about Anti Night here with such a title. But here you've got Sleuth dressed up as a knight, outside at night. Yeah, very much the play on words in this title here today. Anyhow, let's take a look at today's puzzle and rule sets. So we have Outside at Night by Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. Uh, just checking, yeah, all the numbers are visible. Barely, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see it. I'll, I'll move on. And we've got the following set of rules. So first rule, fairly obvious, normal Sudoku rules apply. That means place the digits 1 to 9 once each in every row, column, and 3 by 3 box. We know that one. Cells a chess knight's move apart must contain different digits. So, for example, this 5 in here, we're actually given a digit, goodness me. Um, not only can we not put any 5s in the same column, or the same row, or the same box, so now these could be 5, also any cell that is a chess knight's move away cannot be a 5. So, remember a chess knight is two steps forward, one step to the side, sort of a classic L shape, that would be a chess knight move. So this is not a 5, that is not a 5, that is not a 5, etc. And this could be extremely powerful, as I'm sure as we start to solve this we're going to discover. Lastly we have digits outside the grid must appear in one of the first three cells of the row or column from the position of the clue. So let me just double check, yeah, all the numbers are visible, like I said, if barely. So we've got a 1, 2 here on the left. What it's saying is that the 1 and the 2 have to appear in the first three cells. And that happens to be in the row because, you know, it's on the side. Up here you can see we've got a 5, 6, so that means that these three cells must have 5 and 6. And that would be the same for this 1, 2, 2, etc. So, fairly straightforward. But um, a very empty grid, I admit despite the fact that we're given a digit, so this will be extremely interesting to see how it solves. Now, if you want to join Sleuth outside at night, um, that sounded bad, link in the description down below as usual for you to play along. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock, see how I get on. Uh, let me just take a note of the time. So I'm going to point that out now because I can see that this puzzle is entirely symmetrical, rotationally symmetrical. You can see, if, you know, essentially there's a five in the middle and all the clues, so two, three, seven, eight, six, four, one, two, eight, nine, are perfectly rotationally symmetrical. Um, yeah, I'm taking too long to start. Let me, right, so 8 and 9, you've got 8 and 9 in here, and 8 and 9 in there. So 8 and 9 are actually restricted to these two cells only. They can't be in here, otherwise they would break this cell down there. I'm actually going to keep a running count of whenever I've used a clue so that I focus on what it is. You can see that the 8 and 9, whichever one of this is an 8 and whichever one is a 9, neither of these could be 8 or 9. So this is... 8 and 9. And actually that 8 at the top helps us resolve it. That's got to be the 9. That's got to be the 8. Right? We've got digits. Minute 1. That's always lovely. Is there more for us to do? I mean, I can uh, lose this clue as well. This 8 means there is an 8 in here somewhere and an 8 in there somewhere, except this 8 sees it with knight's move, so 8 is in one of these two cells, which actually can only be in here. Sleuth, pay attention because of this 7-8. I mean, that's not an 8. Again, knight's move. And obviously we can repeat everything that I've just done with the 8s and 9s with the 1s and 2s over here. Sort of same logic. So 1 and 2, you can see, are restricted because of that 1-2. This is not 1 or 2. This is 1-2. That 2 here gives us an order. That's 1. That's 2. Uh, this 2 has to be in here. And it's not this cell. And actually, this cell takes out this cell. Does that make sense? This two and this two take out these two, so that's the two. 
That is not a two. This is a two. Lovely. Um, yes, I will keep, like I said, a note of these. Um, I can see that two is in one of two in here. Not very useful. Seven, one of two in there. Three, one of two in there. All right, clearly we're going to need to do a bit more work than what is just given here. I mean, I'm, I'm going to just pencil mark four. So this box is interesting. Yeah, this box is very interesting. Um, this cell is a one. And this seems like crazy to say, but let me show you essentially what I'm just sort of noticing. It's almost like it's negative space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So because of these pencil marks and the night move interaction, Notice that both, not both, I mean, there's six digits, two, four, eight, six, seven, and nine are all not in these three cells because of this nine. So this is actually one, three, five. And five, six tells me that's not a five and threes tells me that is not a three, that's a one. That is, well, I don't know what that is actually. That is three, five. Can I do something? I'll, I'll take a look at fives because clearly we're meant to look at fives. Yes, we can do something with fives. That's a five in box four because it's not in here. And this cell can see this cell with Sudoku, both of these with night move, this cell with Sudoku. So five is restricted in box four. That is not a five, that's a three, that's a five. Interesting. Right, uh, we are applying the same logic in here. Uh, I mean, I can obviously prove it. I think some of you are going to insist that I show this at least once. But then I'm hoping that it's fairly obvious because all the clues are rotationally symmetrical that this is absolutely the case. So three and four are forced to decide. Six has to be in here and the two and eight. And obviously the one is not in these three cells. So one, two, three, four, six, eight fills all of these six cells. Five, nine, and seven are in here. This cell can't be a seven and it's not a five because of this four, five. So that's the nine. Now the five, because this is five in here, it says these are fives, this cell. Yeah, yeah, same logic, five in here. Right. Can we carry on with this? How much is it going to give me? I might kind of know. So I don't know whether the two or eight are down here. So I don't know what... Oh, hang on. Because six and seven are here... Yeah, I don't know where the nine is. That's the thing. So I know that the four is up here, joined potentially with either, with potentially both two and eight. It just depends where this nine goes. Because we're essentially missing a digit up here and a digit down there. Right. Um, can I see a where on this? Not really. So fives, not in any of these cells. Fives is one of these two. I'm guessing five is one of these two for the same reason. Yep. Yeah. Fives in one of these two in here. Um, five is in one of these two in there. Four is none of these because we've also got a four in here. So four is restricted. That is not a four. Uh, 
and then I guess six. Yeah, that's not a six. And then six. Yeah, not in here. That's the six. I don't really want to keep corner pencil marking. I think it'll just get fairly overwhelming for me fairly quickly. I think what I need to, yeah, such as this five, night move can't be a five. That's a five. Which means that's not the five. That's the five. That five means that is not the five. That's the five. That is not the five. That's the five. Right. And then we're left with these X wings in here. Okay. Maybe the rest of this row, since we've got so much of it already, let's have a think about this. So I need three, four, six, and eight. Maybe not. What about the columns? Um, or sleuth, pay attention, you place a three and you just ignore the three. And I place a seven and I just ignored it. Seven. Right, that's a bit better. That gives me a three six pair. And the three is not at the bottom. That's the three. Sorry, that's the six. That's the three. So now in here, I have four, six, and eight. We'll come back to that in a second. Um, just want to make sure that I use the same logic in here. Um, yeah, so sevens are lining up. That is a four seven pair. This six seven tells me that's not the seven, that's four, that's seven. And therefore, these three cells are two, four, and six. Okay, you can see that's not a four, that is not a six. Can I do better? Not yet. Okay. These three cells, maybe? No, hang on. I can do better. Eight, nine pair. That's not an eight. And therefore, one, two pair. That's not a two. Where is two? Let's have a look. Mm, yeah, it's not that restricted. How can I reduce these further? Not sure. I need to do something with these nines and ones. I just don't know what yet. Um, I started on this column and then I just clearly got distracted. So what else do I need to be placing in here is the question. So I need four, seven, eight, and nine. Now the eight I can see is not in these two cells and this is not the eight. That's the only place for an eight. This is not a seven. This is not a seven. That's the only place for a seven. And this, uh, both of these are four, nine. Right, probably similar logic going on here. Um, so we want to focus on twos. This is not the two. Neither of these can be the two because of this two. That's the only place for a two. Um, only place for a three. This is not this cell. It's not this cell because of this three, four. That's the three. Let me just tidy up my pencil marks so I don't lose track. And then we're left with one six in here. This is a lovely puzzle. It's almost like you're playing in negative space. Very strange. You can see both of these twos means that wouldn't be a two, but it's not anyway. It's not very useful. Eight is not helpful. Where else should I be looking now? So we've got all of these. This is three, seven, and nine. You know, I can see that's not the nine. I can see that's not a seven. I can see that's not a three. So they're actually all pairs. That's not a three. That's not a seven. That's not a nine. And more importantly, nine is one of these two cells. Um, guessing same logic in here, 137. Um, this is not a 1, this is not a 7, and this is not a 3. And one of these is a 1. 
Interesting. Right, maybe some Sudoku. So like these two cells, we know they're not one or nine. They're either, f and if it's four, six, that would make this two, eight. So it feels like it's two, eight or four, nine. Because essentially we've got one, three, seven, nine quadruple. So this is two, four, six or eight. Which is it? Let's have a look at the twos. Two is forced in box five. I'm guessing eight will be forced in box five. Yeah. So that gives me these. That is not, oh, hang on. It's about to remove an eight from here. That doesn't exist, okay. And no two in here that I need to remove. Interesting. Oh, but yeah, of course, I can remove this eight. I can remove this two. That gives me a four six pair. That gives me a two in here. That's a four six pair again. That gives me an eight in here. Wow. So we've kind of done this sort of pattern, sort of, and we've done here. Should I be looking across? Maybe, maybe. Doesn't feel like there's a lot of pressure there, but maybe there's more than I meets the eye. Let's have a think about this. So I'm missing three. I mean, I'm missing one, nine, three, seven, four, six. I don't see why this is the right move. You know, obviously sevens are not here, but seven could be literally any of these. One is not here or there. That's it. All of these could be one. So I don't think I'm onto a winner here. Four and six. I mean, I can see that this is not a four, six, and this is not a four, six. That's not a great move. Nine is not here. Tricky. Can I resolve any of these? Let's have a think about it. So what clues have I used? I've used this four, five. I've used the seven, eight. I've used the one, two, I've used the five, six, I've used the two, three. So I haven't really kind of figured out what's going on in here. Because again, this one, how can I resolve this one nine? Be really helpful. And the fives are still not resolved. How are we doing for twos? So we've got a two X wing of sort, have we? Yeah, this is resolved. Okay, so this two sees this set. So two, because of that, these are not twos. Two is now restricted to one of these two in box nine, but this one can see it with a night move. So that's a two. That's not a two, that's a two. And I'm guessing same thing with eights. Yeah, no eights. No eights. That's the only place for an eight. That is not an eight. That's an eight. And we end up with this. Oh, hang on. This eight sees this eight with night move. I just haven't used my night moves. So that gives me nine, that gives me eight. That nine is very helpful, we'll come back to that. And then this two resolves this two, that's a two. That gives me one, that gives me two. Right, so this is now a one six pair. And this is now a four. That gives me another seven nine in here to complete the row. Um, what was I after? This gives me a six in here and a four nine in there. Uh, one three to complete the row. Lovely. 
What is this? 136. I'm not too sure. So there's a definite six, well, it doesn't really remove anything. A definite seven in here because this is one or three. But otherwise I can't exactly see how it helps. What it does allow me to do is cross these, cross this, cross that. That four nine is not exactly resolved, but very nearly that eight is done, that three four is done again, that six is not quite done. Right, so we're very much on our own at this point with night move to finish this up what am i meant to be seeing that i'm not seeing i mean i can finish pencil marking these boxes but i'm not sure what i'm getting for it this column so it needs four five seven and nine four five seven and nine and this is just four seven or nine it's just any of them and this cell again seems to be any of them am i meant to be coloring these four nines maybe so four seven five nine four nine again and in here I need a one. I'm guessing one of the four, five, seven, nine. No, this is a pair of something, one, six. Interesting. Not resolved though. And therefore this is four, nine. Also not resolved. <clears throat> so like I think essentially I'm looking for more of these night tricks somehow to help me resolve this I can do obviously a whole bunch of pencil marking and chances are I am going to do a whole bunch of pencil marking so in here I have a 9 with a 3, 7 and a 4, 6. Somewhere in here. 3s maybe? This is not a three, kind of hard to see because one of these is a three. We'll see it either with Sudoku or night moves. So none of these are threes. So three is restricted to one of these two cells, which you can see interferes with these two. And then restricted to one of these cells, not helpful. Then I'm guessing we've got the equivalent seven in here. Yeah. So a seven is one of these two cells. That's again, interesting, but not exactly helpful. And this cell is not four or six. This cell is actually quite restricted. Let's have a think about it. It's not, it could, it's essentially one or three. It's not two, it's not four, it's not five, it's not six, it's not seven, it's not eight, it's not nine. And this one will be a seven or nine. One, two, three, can be four, it's not five, four, six, this four, six, 
it's not seven eight yeah it could be nine bit of a shame Maybe coloring is what we're meant to be doing. So what is this cell? It's not one, two, it can be three. It could be four, five, six. It's not seven, yeah. Not eight, but it can be nine. Three, four, six, nine, this is just too many options. And in here, This one six is this one six, because there's no one or six anywhere else. I'm guessing this four nine is this four nine. So how is this helpful? They're the same one. There, a different one. Whichever, the, right, so it's not in here. It's one of these is the four nine. It's going to be joined with the five. So this is a five or nine. That forces a seven in here. Wow. Wow, that is very hard to see. And we're going to be forced to do something similar with the one six. Yes. This one six is not in here, it's not there, it's not any of these cells, it's joined with the one five, that forces this to be a three, that's not a three. Only other place left for a three is in here, and a seven, and then a seven, right, That that's going to resolve it. Seven, three, um, hang on, what am I doing? Yeah, three, one, seven. So now in here we have one nine and four six. We'll figure that out in a second. Let's just see if we can continue with these sevens and threes. Are the sevens and threes done now? Yes. Uh, one more three there. This is one six. I guess the equivalent of these four nines in here. So how is this helping me? What is this cell? This is a red 4-9. Okay, that is not the red 4-9. That is a 5. That's the red 4-9. Okay, which makes this uh, 5. That's not the 5. That's the 5. So red 4-9 is not in any of these. One of these four nines is a purple four nine. Interesting. No idea what's going on. That's not the purple four nine. That's not the purple four nine. One of these is the purple four nine. Okay. Am I going to have to color these as well to try and figure out what's going on in here? Maybe. Let's go for it. So this, I'm going to go with, I don't know, blue. Which means that is, I mean, it's a shame. I, let me just, sorry. Red, blue, makes this blue, makes this red, makes this purple which makes this the red one six, which has to be now a one. And therefore, I mean, there's no therefore really. This is the red, um, I'm sure I'm can using the same logic in here. Okay. 
How did I manage that is a four nine okay so that's one six so that's the one six right that's how I'm I've lost it that's the red that's blue that's red that makes this orange and therefore this has to be these are essentially four nines and one sixes but it's not the red one six if there's a blue one six that can't be the blue one six that's the blue one six and that's the purple 4-9, presumably. Yeah. Because that's the orange 4-9. Right. Anyhow, um, long way of saying ones, sixes. That is a four. That is a six. That is a four. That is a six. And I had this thing in here. Yep, that's a nine. And that's a four. Lovely puzzle. Lovely, lovely puzzle. Full deck and missing a few cards. <clears throat> I mean, kind of lost for words to describe this one. You know, that essentially you're having to basically operate in negative space with these strips. Then you have to basically complete the rows and columns in this kind of checkerboard like panel then you can make a lot of progress but then you get sort of stick get stuck with coloring unless it was before the coloring it was sort of seeing these that this is a three seven but yeah the coloring helped what a phenomenal puzzle um i immensely enjoy that i hope that you guys have too um reasonably quick solve given the difficulty so i'm pretty proud of that hope that you enjoyed the puzzle in the video and uh, see you back for the next one. Bye-bye for now.